Okay, I'll do episode four. Can't afford to look human. You're going to the floor. We'll do episode four, then we'll play Uncharted. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? <laughs> yeah, shit, coming from a talking frog. Crane must have taken a shark to him. Open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I did nothing. Yes, I finally see you for who you are. You're an animal. Who did it? Just tell me who did it. I know you know. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Now thinking about it, I should have just killed one. Like, I have another safe up. How many episodes are left? Uh, two. So if it's five episodes in total, we're doing four. So Telltale games usually have five episodes a season. Well, I mean, I mean most episodic ga episode of games have five episodes. But I think, ev but I think Life is Strange: True Colors changed everything when they decided to go chapters. But there's still five chapters. Damn, she's got a pentagram on her arm. See you around. <clears throat> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Damn. He'll be this okay. does not. Uh... He'll be okay. His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver. He's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Toxicosis? The fuck is that? Easy there. Not to move. Oh! I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. Am I going to be okay? <laughs> How bad is it? Man, my stomach is cut open, my arm is fucking split in half. Am I gonna be okay? Please, Big B, don't move. Ew! Yeah, move it some more! I'm a bit engaged setting his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much. Fractured?! That's a clean break! Ugh. Ugh. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm certified to do this. Oh my god. Ew. The fact that ne this nearly happened to my arm once is insane. Ugh. Oh my god, he's stretching it. You're, now she walks out. Listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I do listen to you. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. <laughs> Damn, she's she covered in blood. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay at least until he's. Out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. She definitely has a crush on Bigby. We like each other, let's be real. She, she wants that, she wants that Take wolf off. dick. How much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, He's not a vet. Supposed to be here right now. Oh really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. 
Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits I, I had no choice. I was getting riddled with shotguns. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart. The only place How was that? Move. How was my stomach near my heart? This way. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. Ah, uh, yeah. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'm just gonna keep quiet. Try. Anyways, guard against him, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, call him. Swiney. So, how do you, um, feel? <laughs> it's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. As good as it Hell, gets. I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected. I think. So, not well then. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh,. You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. I died? Damn, oh, yo, she it, want, she want that, um, she want that dick! It kind of scared the hell out of me. Yeah, Snow I've White wants this dick. Seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. She want- And even he thought you were- Snow, I'd never leave you. Damn that Riz. The best time to say it. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. <laughs> you look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <laughs> that's the Colin, best the best thing to do, I'm though. I'm just saying, I was worried about him, is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have, like, a plan or something? No. And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. That yeah, I'm gonna be as nice to her. She's the, 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 the pig and oh, Snow are the only two I'm gonna treat with absolute like, respect. We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about you should have, you don't need to take my word for it. Look at me. Just what does the crooked man want out of this? Money. I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fable Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Um... And Faith? A good night? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Sometimes. A fun night? The crooked man that's what they're used for. ...declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things 
the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously <laughs> sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Hey, 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 hey. He hey, hey. doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. I did show restraint. I didn't kill anyone. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter. Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. I turned into the real... The fight, man. Snow, let me get this straight. Let Snow, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be real with you right now, Snow. What you saw last night was the real me. What you saw was what my was my original state. You forget I'm the big bad wolf. If I really believed that we needed him to lose his flip in mind at a moment's notice. I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Fingers crossed behind my back. I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on it. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? <laughs> hey, yes! Just Finally! I don't have a bed, so we might have to go to your place now. Your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? What situation? I thought we were heading, to, uh, heading to a bed. Starting today have to go and stay at the oh, I'm not I fucking I'm not sending Colin to the ranch. You're going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. Look. Everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I I'm not sending I'm not. Colin to the ranch. Tell me right now, what's it going to be, Bigby? I'm not. Uh, he's not sending to the. I'm not sending Colin to the ranch. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? I'm not sending him to the ranch. Okay. I'm not Doctor Phil. Know. Thanks. Guess who's but waiting I, in your office right now? I honestly thought we were gonna go fuck Snow, but okay. Narissa. Narissa. No, the that little mermaid. Pudding and pie. Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Disenfranchised? She needs help me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. That, that is... You could change right now. In front of me. I mean... I've got. I've, I mean. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Jeez, Captain. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm. No, right? I'm not sending you to the ranch. I mean, she seemed real serious about it. Look, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. I'm not sending him to the ranch. Thanks, baby. You yeah, fucking friendship. As long as you stay inside, we're good. You don't you don't have to go to the ranch. She gonna fuck me. What I'm confused about though. Her name's Narissa? But she's the Little Mermaid. So shouldn't her name be Ariel? Or is that copyright? No, it can't be. It can't be copyright stri- We got Snow White in here. They quite literally have a uh, Twiddle Dumb and Twiddle D.
What is that emote? Uh, I'm scared. What is that? It's called what? Hey Dan to Giggle? Sheriff. I know what I said. Morning. <laughs> the time is morning. <laughs> no, not not it's not like it's eight fifteen or anything, it's just morning. FBI wanted fugitives. Why do I need to know the wanted fugitives? I, um, are you okay? No, I got shot multiple fucking times. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Eight and two pit. What the fuck? Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. What do you smoke? Do cigarettes- wait, wait. Do cigarettes have different tastes? Thanks. Wait, do, do, do cigarettes what have different tastes? I thought you know every cigarette- I thought if you smoke a cigarette, the open arms. it's the same thing. I thought the only di I thought there's just a difference a between, uh, cigarettes and cigars. Mm -hmm. I thought that's the difference. So that's Didn't know different cigarettes have different tastes. Not just while you're at work. I don't smoke. So... I wouldn't know. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room with the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. You, you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes... We have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me you find my way, but now... I thought you were friends with Vivian. Um, Lily's dead. I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. You're saying Vivian's not your friend? So I hope you're looking after yours. Yeah, I am. Colin, I'm not sending Colin to the fucking ranch. You look around you. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know, I want to help, but, but, but your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. Do you got to make it up to me? I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith 412. Do you like it? No, take it off. Do you? It was... It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? The moment they say, that, oh, my lips are sealed, yes, it's kind of like pleading the fifth, though you know you're onto something. Doing anything? Chill. I didn't even touch you. you. Can't do that. I, I didn't do anything. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Are you a germaphobe? Is that why you didn't want me to touch you? Please, don't. 
Fucking genocide. Pathetic. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons. If you take them off. <laughs> what is that pat? Snow. Yeah, it's probably just Snow White. It's probably Listen, Sheriff. Ye? Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. Sure thing. Oh, OMG? OMG what? Thank you. <laughs> it's, not, it's not what it looks like, I swear. I swear. Sorry. Black I'm looks good on you. The sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. It's pretty solid right now. Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. Uh oh. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Hey, wait, you don't have to go. <laughs> she she wasn't useless. She wasn't useful anyway. Black looks good on her. That was abrupt. Uh, one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. Off of the head. Good work. The, the second so season, the second season is going to be interesting since it's to one hour uh, with a Devolt theme. They know about the crooked man, or do you think they just heard about last night and they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Narissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. About what? She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Hey, Damn. Kim, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. You know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna uh, do a little quick in the elevator. No, okay. Snow is just leading me on. Beauty and Beast's apartment. M am I gonna find a candlestick? What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You cold, you dumbass. Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? Uh, yeah, I was shut up. With the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot. And you so haven't? You pick me. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. Yeah, because you're overreacting. You hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. <laughs> Please don't tell me that. You in private? Yes, let's. They're, they're not gonna go smash in the fucking other room while I'm in here, are they? So I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. They're fucking rich as hell. I thought Beauty was meant to be blonde. Beauty's blonde, so why is she brunette in this picture? And Beast is meant to be buff. He's not buff in that picture. Hey, 
I bet the teeth up. Hey, it's the Rose. Yeah, you need to talk to me. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Thief! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but... Yeah, um, I was only saying that because my place looks like a shit show. For some financial help. Did you end up going to the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate yeah, compli I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked Um, if you're honest, I'll protect you. I can protect you. Only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Well, no, you're not beauty. Beauty, you're being an absolute delight. But your husband needs to get fucking get his shit together. kind of lifestyle? Yeah, rich fuck. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... You gonna get it? Hi there, you've reached beauty. And That's so cringe. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing slow? Get that. <laughs> and we can't come to the phone yeah, it's right kind of cringe. So yo, yo, yo. Their fucking voicemail was cringe as hell. What the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Guess you don't need I'm, my help. I'm sure you can handle whatever this is on your own. I'll see you later. Please, Bigby. Wait. Yeah, Big Beast does look like he's shot himself. Phone calls. It's the crooked man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe. Even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Yeah, where do I go? Oh my god, why are they being, like, they want help, but they're not will- You want my help, but you're just hugging each other. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. Did you ever see the crooked man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. Okay, and... you, you you have something to offer? You know that butcher shop, the cut above? Yeah. It's the place on Tubman Street. 
Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked men. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. Did you ever deliver to the crooked men? Very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked men? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. He never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. Oh, great. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Is Mary always there? Not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know, and I try to avoid her. Oh yeah, I would I too. To tell you what she's You're saying. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there... I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. Obviously. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. Well, maybe instead of renting a palm and buy a house. No, probably not. So, where are you going? I'm going to the fucking it's butcher's place. Sideways. I'd like to know where it's coming from. No, I'm going to the butcher's shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher's shop. You know, Biggie. Once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Doesn't matter. I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man. But is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just... Go away. Oh yeah, sure. Do you want to really appreciate it? What do you say? You want me to kill him? You help us. Out? I'll handle it. I'll handle it. I'll be a nice guy. I'll handle that it. Crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Oh, now we wants to be nice. Now we wants to be nice since I'm gonna like get rid of his debt for him. Great. The time is afternoon. No smoking? I'm gonna keep smoking. <laughs> he just shot himself. <clears throat> There's a button. Yeah, I saw that charm. button. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <laughs> yeah, you just keep smoking. Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. I don't want me. Blank steak, on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. Where's Bloody Mary? I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I, I, I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. What's your name, Johan? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Okay, then I just want you. Meat. Don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. Hmm. I, Sheriff, I... You're guilty of something. Did you hear that? What? 
Man, he clicked I'm the really button. Sorry. Hold on. I, I just got to go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right He's down. running away. Yeah, you're dead. I just have to go see. You're cooked. That motherfucker. Shit. That's a lot of mate. But don't I just follow the drain? Or does he just do that himself? I'm coming to help you. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. <laughs> I'm the sheriff. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Damn it. Such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you do. Where's Bloody Mary? What the crooked man want? What are you doing back here? <laughs> no, I am. Probably fat she with a he. He's gonna get me killed. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, Please, Johan? Please don't. Bigby, what happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Talk or else. I talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No. No, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Just open the door, Johan. Won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look. I just worked deck him? Hey! I gotta deck him? Actually, nah, bullshit. I haven't been back there in years. So you are a part of this. You've been bullshitting me this whole time. Where's Mary? Where's the fucking crooked man? So help me, I will put your head through that damn door. Tell me what I need to know. Now. I don't know. I'm not part of their crew. Crew? The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, Mental case, Bloody Mary. Then open the you damn want to talk door. About the real butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. Okay, I can't believe I you. Wanna... It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Yeah, but I'm li lift with your knees. That was padlock. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, yay! What's good, Mr. White? Yo, so where's, where's Heisenberg? What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. No, not really. I swear, I don't know anything more. What about that? What about that run like sign? Like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I Did guess you that's warn why them? I stuck around when they took it. These lights, yo. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. No, you didn't. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. 
Where were you when they took this place from me? It has You want me to deck you? I had a choice before and I'll do it again. I live with this at my back. I needed help. I needed your help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. Glamour tubes. Butt plug. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Oh yeah, it's a fucking myth lab. What did you think? Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Okay, I was about to say, if you say some fucking mum joke, I swear to God. I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. <gasps> These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. He looks guilty as fuck. Don't you see what's going on here? All these raw materials. It looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. Slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. Damn! He's got his hooks into everybody. It's pretty clear how. Oh, yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's Mr. Jones, Mr. Knight? Floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. When I get my hands on that crooked bastard, I'm gonna make him pay for all this. Mr. White! Oh my god, Mr. White! The real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. Fucker, Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. Rose that Red? Little Red ri hero. Rising Hood? Big green head and all. Vivian? Why don't you just use that? Thrush beard? Who the fuck is Thrush beard? Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. Probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. I can find the mirror piece there. I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. What? Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Oh, uh, you don't get your teeth huh? bashed in. Do you really think this is going to be all right? With all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon. His symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? The kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Bigby Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there. And we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Keeping the doing, I'm doing my doing my sheriffy duties, keeping the citizens safe, you know. Keep just keeping people safe. Jersey, don't 
Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... My Jack, what the fuck is going on? But you I'm, uh, just gonna... Cool. I'm the guy that gives shit. Uh, yeah. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? <clears throat> I didn't pawn it, asshole. So get the fuck out of my sight. It's hey, yo, Ginger Man! Gingerbread. Hey, what's going on here? Fucking hell! Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? Kick his ass, Woody. Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna move. You piece of shit. I'm not gonna do anything. Gonna rip your fucking lungs out. I'd like to see you try, you backwards fuckwit. Oh, big talk. You won't be talking when I'm done with this is nice. Yeah. Where's the popcorn at? <laughs> How you feeling today, Sheriff? Still a little sore, are we? Why should man I didn't come here to fight, but if you want to fight. You ain't so tough. You You're done. Popcorn, and there you go. You like that? What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. He punched me now, too. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Oh shit, Windigo. Another quick transformation. Hey yo, I said not use that word again. Okay, mid-air collision. Hey, you like that? Roadkill. Oh shit. I'm gonna rip off one of those fucking antlers and shove it down your fucking asshole. Oh, I told you I'm gonna snap one off. Oh, it's, oh, it's coming. Oh, there we go. Juicy. Yummers. That's a pretty big hole. Ah. Gonna take a chomp at me? You're lucky I don't kill you right here now. Hey asshole, I found her. Oh yeah! That that should be. He should be dead. He should be dead. He broke his hand again. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> but I think it's healed now. Magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? That useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No. Oh yeah, I got you. Words. Nothing. I still have you, don't I? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Is this the same oh, axe? The door to his house. Yeah, it's the same axe as the one that uh never in one spot. That Bloody Mary had. You'll never it's the same him. one. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Thank you. Woody, he's all yours. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. 
Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Means coat. The game is super interesting. Yeah, it is. One of the best Telltale games. No time for travelers, Jackson. Huh? I'm taking you the money. Be needing this anymore. I'm taking the money. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. The shard. It's the shard. Finally. That's pretty small. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did. But I do know this. I don't have to listen to this shit. <laughs> Just leave. Dumb bitch. Out of smoke. You want one? Yeah, I'll give I'll give him the smoke. Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna be friends with Woody Good now. Friend. I know, but you wanted one. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. And get the fucker who did it. Aye, aye, Captain. Is that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah. I'll see you around. Now I'm gonna be nice to Woody. He's the he's meant to be the woodsman from uh, Little Red Riding Hood. So Big V, he's meant to be the big bad wolf from the Three Little Pigs, Little Red Riding Hood. And that's about it. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers. Means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go. I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Oh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, oh, Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Yeah, can I? I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil to yeah. the lucky pawn. But he told me that the crooked man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. And that's how we're it's gonna, yeah. Really? Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. <laughs> Take a number. Oh, yeah? Take a number. I don't understand. Fuck, Billy Babe. Peace just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. I found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. She has. Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. 
you know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Yeah, she well, rammed I right through my asshole. Now. It will just take a little extra coaxing. That's all. Thank you for your help. Oh, no, good buskin. Be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. So good buskin. Which he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. Really? We're at war. Don't they realize that? No, they're idiots. The fucking toad. What? What, what did you want? Help over there. Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So <laughs> Send him to the ranch. Done with it, okay? Send him to the ranch. Send him to the ranch. Toad, come here. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. No. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real woolen because of you. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours, and now it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My responsibility? My car, total. The gaping maw in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I didn't, uh... I need it, Big B. I didn't throw myself through your wall. I'll ask Woody if you want payback. You good for nothing, piece of... The woodsman is broke. You saw the way he was living. Yeah, in your building. You know what I mean. <sighs> Please, I need the money for glamours, Big B. Hey, so, I got no money. Isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I've got to send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig? Hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. Colin stays out of sight, for monies at least. You say the same. Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? Oh, okay, let's hear it. One more chance, and hear me out. I see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. You need I'm a glamour. Where is what the pig? In my in my apartment. Cover me and... The pig is still in my apartment. Cause like I just said, the pig Colin doesn't leave. Colin's actually a good little piggy. This toad's an idiot. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army now. Not my problem, I've got no money. I've done nothing wrong, but look. You're going to the ranch. You've been out of glamour from the word go. I have no choice. You and TJ are going to the farm. There's a truck leaving tomorrow. I think you better go break it to your boy. Big B. Look, damages might be a valid complaint, but that's a separate deal. Dylan Smith can see to that. The farm. You're a real friend of the people, Sheriff. What a crock of shite. Government by the fables for the fables, my arse. Well, you didn't have money. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very He'll good He'll be gone tomorrow. I did it. He'll be gone tomorrow. Him and TJ. It may not have felt good, but it was the right thing to do. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was fun. I felt... I don't feel bad. I feel good about sending that I bitch to the ranch. why it happened. To Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? 
I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he knows, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Yeah. He's probably still waking up a little. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. I like how he has to talk so, in rhyme. Let's not do that again. I can talk in rhyme too. Hickory dickory dock. So we'll have to track him down later. You're right. How about Maybe you get on this cock? The immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? Mirror, mirror, tell me who is beautiful. I don't recognize the door. Yeah, th then it's just going to so point out Snow White. White. Like, pfft. Hold on. The door, it moves. What did I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Do I have to? You can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. I back. haven't killed anyone yet, so shut the fuck up. And clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Actually, we we might do episode 5 of this stream. We might just do, do the whole game. Might as well finish it. Because we're at the end of episode 4 now, so I might as well do 5. Kick it open. It's Jiminy the Crip uh yeah. Jim Jiminy the Crippled. The hell are you doing? Oh, it's Tim, never mind. Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way. For leaving off Tiny. Ta Why do they call you Tiny Tim? They asked me to watch the door. I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you weren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Okay, I'll be nice to him. But why do they call him Tiny Tim? 
Does he got a smooth dick? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. I get it. You have a job to do. But you gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. Now I can give you a job. To have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. I'll try. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What no, you we don't. don't. Need is a war. Terry Light. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Yo, with the penguin in there? Go ahead. You got a job to do. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Uh, they're all shitting themselves. <laughs> Except for him. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Well, how did he close two doors at once? Interesting. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need. To help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. This is the that's the best finish of the episode. If you saw it, if you choose to smoke. Plus, I think it just gives you aura points. About you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. <laughs> That's what Snow White will be coming on the same later. Anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you give it to them. <laughs> I what? Is that I Pikachu? Pikachu salute. Oh, well. <clears throat> Choke me, Bloody Mary. Fucking hell. You and 85.5% of players decided Colin should not go to the farm. Fuck yeah, he shouldn't. Colin's my friend. Colin doesn't deserve to go to the ranch. I reckon we'll do the final episode. Well, I mean, we're at the end of the game, so we might as well.